Hi, and welcome to Low Carb Spin. Today, we have a sweet treat for you. And if you like coffee, it's a coffee lover's dream. Let's get in the kitchen. <laughs> for our coffee mousse, we have three steps that we're gonna get started with. So the first step is we're gonna take our hot brewed coffee and we're gonna dissolve our gelatin in the coffee. You don't want your gelatin to gel. You just want it to cool off the consistency of a syrup. About a quarter cup, and this is freshly brewed. Pour it into our bowl. We have our gelatin we're gonna sprinkle in. And some granulated monk fruit sweetener. I love the smell already. Mmm. Today we're using hazelnut flavored coffee. My favorite. We're just gonna let this really, you know, so you, you don't want to see any more of the, the granular. You really just want it all to be melted. I think that's pretty good. So now we're just going to let it cool off room temperature. Teresa and I are going to show you how we make some decorative bowls. We're just going to play. We have some piping bags. We have some melted Lily's chocolate chips. There's nothing else in here. We just melted them uh, 30 second intervals in the microwave. We're going to put them in the bags and Gonna do them over these molds and see what happens. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this forever, but I was intimidated by it, so I never tried it. So we're gonna pour that into our piping mm -hmm. bags, right? Absolutely. Okay. So does it do we want more petals than this? Well, no, that's fine. Oh, just like that. That's cool. Let me try that way. Is it exciting? You just that's want it pretty. thick enough so that you'll be able to pull it off the mold. Mm -hmm. Let's make it like a flower. Oh, you're gonna be all get all fancy on me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> get your, get your fancy. Fancy on. might not be what we describe this as. And what's really neat is you pop these into the refrigerator. You could even do it in the freezer, and they firm up quite nicely. This is n nothing like tempered chocolate, so you're kind of limited with what you can do. Uh, you know, uh, you can already movies. tell who's the amateur here. <laughs> There's no right or wrong. So I think I my bag has like a little bit of a thicker tip, mm -hmm. like a wider tip. So, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I think the, the skinnier tip gives you a little bit more like dainty details, right? Okay, well, you know what we'll do? We'll switch here. Yep. There we go. There you go. And I'm gonna finish her. So either I'm ruining you, I'm ruining her creation. <laughs> So nobody will well, know. Well, the, our chips are slightly two different colors to kind of give it a little bit more depth. So I think that's going to be cool. So should I go the same direction? I would go opposite direction just for structure. Literally, how long have I waited to do this? I'm just wanting to do all those artsy things that you see people do. I think you just- learning the secrets. You just, somebody just needs to show you how. And half of it is, you know, you just start. There's no right or wrong. It's chocolate. You know what? And eat the mistakes. Okay, we're gonna set these in the fridge. So for part two, we're gonna add our whole fat ricotta cheese into the bowl, some powdered monk fruit, put that in. We're gonna add some espresso powder. This is instant espresso powder to really give it a nice coffee flavor. And last but not least, some vanilla extract. And then we're just gonna whip this up. So you're going to get about this consistency and you really only want not to have any lumps from the powdered sugar. Once our gelatin from the first part is cooled, that's going to give it that nice creamy consistency. Gelatin mixture is cool, so it's not going to affect our ricotta mixture. So we're just going to pour that in and mix that up. Now we're gonna go on to our step three and really we're just gonna be whipping up our cream. And I like to do that separate and fold it in because I've had one too many tries of making butter out of whipped cream. So- It doesn't sound like a yummy dessert. <laughs> no, no, no. Though as much as we love butter, not in this dessert. Now for our last part, we're gonna do our whipping cream. Powdered sugar. 
whip them till they're soft peaks. I think it's about ready. Now we're gonna add our coffee mixture, ricotta, to our whipped cream. Mmm, that looks good. Just gonna give it a little stir. And then fold in the rest. So the mixture will thicken in the refrigerator. Yep, sounds good. And then we'll be able to do the rest of our decorating for our plating. I'm gonna make some coffee jello. So we figured, you know what? We have some silicone molds, we have some extra coffee here. Let's do something that's a little unusual. But if you're gonna put a decoration on a plate, you might as well be able to eat it. So we're gonna melt our gelatin in our hot coffee, and then we're just gonna flavor it with some monk fruit. Stir it on up, pour it into the silicone molds. Kind of tap to get the air bubbles out, and then we'll just put it in the refrigerator and let it gel. Can't wait to see how our molds came out. So now we're gonna try our different plating techniques, and hopefully this will work. Teresa's gonna do some Hershey's cocoa and do kind of um dusting. A, a dusting, but like a transfer. What do you call that? When you, when you put the I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, so I'm gonna take my plate, and this is an air fryer mat. It's got some holes. You can use a doily or um, whatever else you have. I'm just gonna put a little cocoa into this. And then I'm gonna take a little napkin and cover the other side of the plate so that it doesn't sprinkle on there while I'm doing that. And we should get easy peasy to a nice design when we get done. One, two, three. Maybe I should help you here because you'll want to do more than one plate. Yep. Oh, look cute. how cute that is. Okay, we're gonna try another one. So cute. How much fun is that? I think it's very cool. And it's simple and it will take your dessert and make it look a little bit more elegant. So cute. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love it. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I have a cookie cutter here. I unmolded the gelatin. I'm just gonna make a perfect round like this. And you're wearing the gloves because you don't wanna get fingerprints on your jello. You wanna keep it nice and shiny. And we're gonna do this because I want it to look like a moon. Like that. I love it. And then, you know, this is for the piping tip. Yes. Well, we're gonna we're gonna use this, and we're gonna make some polka dots, and they flip out pretty huh. nicely. Look at that. Awesome. Okay. okay. And we're just gonna go around in a circle and see if these other ones will pop out. There you go. Okay. Nice. And they'll be edible. Beautiful. So I'm gonna take this away. I should do another one too. I need another plate. I love these options. Mm-hmm. So then Teresa's gonna take a scoop of our lovely ricotta yes. hazelnut coffee mousse for our coffee lover's delight. And she's just gonna scoop it in there. Beautiful. And I'll switch plates here and I'll give you this one. Do you want to try to do a jello one? Move this. Whoops. Almost, <laughs> whoops. We lost one. <laughs> we lost one. Well, one's bound to get away. Pop it out of the mold. Yeah, and when you out. have a silicone mold, it's totally easy. Just make my moon. Um, I would cut out the circle first uh. so the edges are straight. Push it down. And of course this comes out. You could eat this. Tastes Yummy. like me. Tastes like coffee. There's my moon. Turn over the plate. Mm. Okay, you make your little about three, four. I did four. 
That's what you could do. You could do three. And just plate them any way you like. I'm gonna put the dollop down. Yum. Look what came out of the fridge. So that these are our chocolate good. bowls. Awesome. So now we're gonna put the chocolate bowls over our cream mixture. So they should lift out, those are silicone molds. They should lift out. Oh, yeah, just pull it, pull it down gently. <laughs> it is chocolate though. And then we're just gonna lay that over. Yeah. And cradle it over the top. Oh, I just dropped it. That's okay. There is no right or wrong. This is art. Right, there you this go. This is chocolate See? art. <gasps> Love it. And it's guilt free. another one and then you know I because this is hazelnut flavored we have some hazelnuts we also have some almonds we could sprinkle around if we need to oh my gosh these turned out so cute this was so easy do this ahead it takes no time at all look at that there's your coffee mousse hope you enjoy our coffee creations thanks for watching enjoy